What is going on guys? I'm Nick and today we're taking a look at another case for the iPhone 15 Pro and it's going to be one from Andar. This is going to be the Aspen and it's one I'm extremely excited about because I absolutely loved it last year for my 14 Pro. But anyways, let's get right into it starting with the packaging as always. So over on the front, you can see you get an imprint which you can feel over here on the about the case itself. You do get the little Andar logo right there. And then on the side of it, Andar the Aspen. So the brand and the name of the case itself. Super nice to see that. As we work over to the back, you can see a little bit of information about the Aspen. You can pause and read that if you would like. Down here, you can see it is for the iPhone 15 Pro. And I did get the camel tan version. Just something a little different since I'm always getting the black versions of these cases. Over on the top, nothing really to look at. Just that same color. And on the bottom, you get this nice little pull tab where you can open the box from. But let's go ahead and use that right there. And immediately you are shown the case, which is super nice to see right there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the price for the case up on the screen right there. But this is all it is. You can see empty package right there. And that is the case. That is an extremely nice color. Usually I'm not really drawn to the brown leather cases but this one is just something else you do see that you get a black camera ring despite the brown leather and then you get black buttons which are aluminum super nice to see that in case you really miss apple's leather case i feel like this is the one that you're going to be getting over on the inside you do get a very nice microfiber material it's going to keep your phone safe from scratches and you can see it does have magsafe built in which is amazing because at this point, every case needs MagSafe. Over on the bottom, you can see it says Andar full grain leather. On the inside edges of the case, it is also all gonna be leather as well. So let's go ahead and grab the phone, which is right here, the iPhone 15 Pro in black titanium, and let's snap it right into the case. Extremely nice fit, especially for a leather case. I feel like sometimes leather cases have kind of lackluster fits but that is not the case with this one pun intended but anyways here it is you can see how that black camera ring i feel really pulls it into the case itself super nice to see that but i do want to test out the fit so let's go ahead make sure it's all in and here we go starting on the sides extremely stiff fit even at the buttons right there you can see pretty much no pull the top no pull at all and then down at the bottom where this usb-c port is at let's see pretty much nothing it is an extremely rigid case actually when you can get, like actually start to feel the way it pulls back at you there's really no pull at all and i'm pulling pretty hard but let's work our way over to the back and let's talk a little bit about a little bit of protection so we do have our camera lenses right here as you can see they are pretty well submerged into that camera lip very nice to see that they've taken the protection into the mind right there let's go ahead and try out the wobble test to see if this case wobbles at all so down here at the bottom where you're normally going to be typing you can see there's not really much going on at all which is very nice to see as you work your way up to the top i am expecting yeah there we go there's gonna be a wobble over the top which is very normal it's all in this top left corner and that really isn't the case's fault. That's just because of how large the cameras have gotten on these phones nowadays. But that's totally all right. Not a huge deal. Now, looking over at the front, you can see you do get a, I would say, decent amount of lip over on the front, especially for a leather case, which you normally don't see too much of. I do have a tempered glass screen protector on here. So if you don't have one, you are going to get even more of a lip. But I'm pretty happy with this. So there it is. But as you work our way over to the left side, you can see there is no dedicated button for your action button. It is still just a cutout. You can still reach it very easily because it is, as you can see right here, see I can press it, hold to open. It is a very thin case, so it's not like you have to reach super deep in there to press anything. But let's see how people feel about that. I am I don't really care too much about getting a button or an opening, especially on a thin case like this one. I do think it's going to work just fine. Now let's go ahead and test out these volume buttons.
Well, Andar is actually going crazy with this case. I've tested it and I've been super happy with it, but these buttons are something that are just, I can't get over them. On a bunch of leather cases that I've tried out already, the buttons are extremely stiff. I know that companies want to get the leather all the way into that button, which I definitely appreciate, but when the button feels stiff, it definitely takes away from the case and that is definitely not what's happening here. The buttons feel super nice and tactile right here. I'm very happy with them. But let's work our way over to the bottom. You see we do get a very generous cutout for that USB-C port right there. And then accurate speaker and microphone cutouts on the side of, those, of that port. We do get a little bit of Andar branding right here below the power button, which I don't mind at all. I actually really prefer when companies put their brands on the sides of the phone rather than slapping it on the back. And then our power button. Let's go ahead and test this out. And of course, they did not skimp out there either. It is super nice and tactile, just like the volume buttons. Over on the top, completely closed. Don't mind seeing that. I actually really enjoy that. And that is pretty much it for this one, but we do still have to test out MagSafe. So of course, we're going to start with the Spigen OMAG ring as always. I've been using this phone grip and stand pretty much daily since I got the 14 Pro, I think. But let it, before I start rambling, snap it on and let's get right to it. So right there, can see leather cases don't tend to have the strongest MagSafe and that's just because it is a thicker material that you're putting in between the two magnets. You can see I can get a little bit of shaking before it falls off, but in normal use, when you're using it as a grip or to watch videos and you're tapping away at it, really, you have nothing to worry about, as you can see right there. It's not going anywhere. So definitely don't mind using this accessory together. Now we are going to test a little bit of wireless charging and some MagSafe strength here with the Apple MagSafe battery pack. Snap it on just like that. We can see that it is charging just fine. And let I do also want to make sure right here, you can see that there is no interference between the battery pack and the lip. It is pretty much pressed up against it. So if you have any larger battery packs, something to keep an eye out for, you don't want it to be sitting on top of your camera lens like, like this or anything like that. It most of the time is fine. It'll continue charging. But if your phone falls or something, you're not going to have as much protection right there. So totally fine here. And of course, something that I have noticed with this battery pack or any battery pack that has a soft silicone on the back, it is a very nice grip between the two. Even when it comes to drops and things like that, you can see they're really not going to fall off or anything like that. I'm sure if you have a pretty rugged drop where you drop it from, I don't know, your balcony or something, the battery pack's going to fly off, obviously. You're <laughs> not going to be surprised by that. But normal pocket drops or getting out of your car, this is definitely going to stay on. I'd be confident that it's going to stay on. So that is the battery pack. And then a big one for me, of course, is going to be the leather wallet test. I need my cases to work with my MagSafe wallet. So we're going to snap this on. No animation that time, totally fine. But of course, you can see it does not interfere either, just like the battery pack didn't. Absolutely love to see that. And then it's leather on leather. So right now that my leather wallet has had time to patina, it's definitely developed more of a grip than the case has. Since I've only tested this for about a week, it really isn't going to have that grip. But as you use the case, it is definitely going to build up that grip. I can say that confidently because my case from last year has definitely done so. But either way, you can see you are probably going to lose the wallet in a regular drop. It's not going to handle any crazy drops. So if you do drop your case while you're running this uh, kind of setup, remember to pick up your wallet. Your wallet probably flew off. Please do not lose your wallet. Either way, as long as my case continues to de develop that patina, I know it's going to get grippier. I will trust it with my MagSafe wallet. Now, of course, a big one. We're going to go ahead and test out purely MagSafe strength with this heavy base one from Nomad. It is a charging station. Not a charging station, charging base pretty much. You set your phone down, it charges via MagSafe, and it is very heavy. It is a one pound base, so let's go ahead and see if this case can lift it. And it definitely can. 
see right here I'm not going to be grabbing the sides of the base just the case itself so I can put my hand under and show you guys it is completely lifted off the desk and it can even turn it on its side like that so definitely nothing to snob at right there some strong magnets that are built into this case you move this back to the side and I do want to go ahead and take one last look around the case and then I'll get you guys out of here so back to our camera lenses right here you can see definitely covered up very nicely over on the front a decent lip again I have a tempered glass screen protector on here if you don't have one you're gonna get even more lip but if you do this is what you're looking at over on the volume button side a cut out for the action button no dedicated button you get your metal very tactile buttons for the volume buttons over on the bottom generous cutout for the USB-C port and then accurate speaker and microphone cutouts right there right side a little bit of Andar branding and your metal power button super nice to see and they completely closed over on the top that is going to be really it for this one guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did remember to hit that like button and remember to subscribe it helps me out a ton and it helps me make even more of these videos for you guys if you have any cases or really any accessories you want to see me cover on the channel remember to leave them down in the comments below i try to respond to every comment i can and it just lets me know what you guys want to see that's enough of me rambling i hope you all enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one